Hey, what's going on? I'm Coach Brian here with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching. Certified Strength Coach and Certified Functional Movement Specialist. And as you can see, I've got three, well, kind of good drawings. Actually, they're horrible. But what I'm showing you is the glute or three of the glutes. So if you're not familiar with the glutes, it's three parts. You've got the gluteus maximus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus minimus. And here they are. Aren't they beautiful? Obviously, I did not major in art or drawing, but you get the idea. As, as you can see here, we've got, let's start with the most dominant glute here. This is your glute max or G max as I uh, refer to it. A lot of people think that these are just like the glutes. That's what this is commonly known as. <clears throat> Excuse me. In red is the actual glute muscle itself, the, the G max. That is the most dominant portion of your butt there. It kind of fans outward and the main function of this particular muscle is hip extension and lateral rotation of the hip. So when you walk, you're uh, extending that leg back, you're extending that hip backwards. That's the main function. Um, lateral rotate, that's just moving your leg outward, open your foot or pointing your toes out, like as you would pivot or um, just kind of change directions. So that's the most dominant and most res uh, the most primary muscle within that glute, in the glute group. Next, we're gonna move on to the G-Med, the gluteus medius. As you can see in red, this is a top portion of your glutes, or your high butt, or your high glute, but it wraps underneath, is covered up by your glute max here, so it looks small on, on the board, but it's actually a, a, the second largest of the three. The glute min is the, the smallest. So you can't see the rest of this. This in here, this area right in here, that's your, that's your glute max, okay? So the G-Med is behind it. The main functions are laterally rotating of the hip, medial rotating of the hip, and also abduction, abduction. That's just swinging your leg away from the body. So it's more involved with more of the hip movement in lateral and, and medial directions. Last but definitely not least is your G-Min, your gluteus minimus. It's in red, as you can see here. I've stripped away the, the glute max and the glute medius, and the, this is what's underneath the three there. Okay, it's still in a fan shape. It's the third or the smallest of the three. And it's it's kind of like the, the neglected stepchild of, of the three. It, it's, it's more of a supportive role, not necessarily the primary mover. However, it does internally rotate the hip here. And it also helps with abduction, abduction. So as you can see, this is your femur right here. It attaches to that and it is the smallest of the muscles. So that's why it just, it's more of an assistance or a, a stabilizing muscle with some small functions in there. They all work together. No matter what movement you're doing, they all play some type of role. And again, it's important to train all three independently, but also as a collective muscle group to get the most out of these particular movements. Very simple. So that's the function of these muscles.